Two-time Academy Award winner Dustin Hoffman is considered one of the greatest actors of his generation. Now, five women have come forward accusing Hoffman of sexual harassment. This morning, three are sharing their stories exclusively with NBC News. Look, uh, Mrs. Robinson, I drove you home. I was glad to Known for I iconic roles in The doors. Graduate, Tootsie, and Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman is a Hollywood legend. But now, five women are accusing the icon of sexual misconduct. Three sat down with us. People go, how is it to work with Dustin? And I tell the half-truth, which is, as an actor working with him, I owe him everything. I learned so much. And then I would stop. And there, there would always be a knot in my stomach about what the real truth was, which is he was abusive and, and he was a bully. Catherine Rossiter co-starred with Hoffman in the 1980s stage run of Death of a Salesman. She says backstage he repeatedly groped her during the show. One day I felt his, his hand go up, up my thigh and this started to continue. He would get more and more aggressive and try and go higher and higher and higher and, and I was like, <gasps> He was the most famous actor in the world. It was the top of his career. I was a nobody. Nobody was going to believe me. Come out. I think there's a law on this. Then, in 1985, she also appeared with him in the TV version of Salesman. That is when Anna Hunter, a 17-year-old intern at the time, claims he harassed her, at one point giving her a crude and sexually suggestive breakfast order. And he just stared at me, and everyone burst out laughing. And I backed out. Uh, went to the bathroom and cried. She also claims the actor humiliated her on set, demanding foot rubs and grabbing her bottom. He was very suggestive in all in all the conversations. Every time we were hanging out in his in his dressing room, he was he was talking about sex, you know, um, to other people, asking me if I'd had sex. But Hoffman's alleged behavior apparently extended beyond those he worked with. He came out of the bathroom and literally dropped the towel. Corey Thomas was just 16 years old and a friend of one of Hoffman's daughters when she says the actor came on to her after the three spent a day together in New York. I'd never seen a man naked in my life at this point. I was kind of an awkward young girl. I'd never kissed anyone. He got on the bed and he said, I want you to give me a foot massage. Let's put it Thomas down. says she was left alone with him while waiting for her parents to pick her up, choosing moment, to speak out now. As hard as it is, I think that I wanted to choose truth over shame. No comment from Mr. Hoffman's representatives, but Hoffman himself apologized after Anna Hunter came forward saying he feels, quote, terrible that anything I might have put her through in an uncomfortable situation, it is not reflective of who I am. Hoffman's attorney previously called Corey Thomas's allegations defamatory falsehoods. Wow. Interesting to hear mm -hmm. those stories all these years later. Yeah, painful. And mm -hmm. you know, all of them worshipped him yeah, in yeah. one way that. or another. You could tell that. Yeah. Cynthia, thank you. Thank you. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.